we go through multiple steps to, to test the efficacy of zinc aside in um, our groves. So one of the early things that we do is we collect samples from these leaves, either leaf samples or root samples, and look for the bacteria themselves and see how many of the bacteria are in the different tissues. And that gives us some guidance on whether we think it's actually being effective or not. But in the end, what really matters to the grower and for this to be an effective product is to see a yield response. When we apply this in the field, because we're doing very small plot trials where we're trying to target to a few individual trees, we use a hand sprayer, which would not be used in conventional agriculture, where they would use a large air blast sprayer pulled behind a tractor. Any trees that's applied to, we wrap with do not pick or do not harvest tape that is written in both English and Spanish. When it comes time that we need a yield assessment, we specifically harvest those trees and we try and make sure we do that before the commercial harvesters come through the rest of a grove. And so we harvest on each tree that we treat to find out how much total weight of fruit comes off of that tree. And then we take a subsample of that fruit back with us to our research center where we have a packing line that we can run it through to size the fruit to see if we're having an effect on size because one of the major symptoms of HLB is a reduction in fruit size. In any trial, you'll get some large fruit and some small fruit. And so we need to know, is that ratio of small fruit to large fruit changing with treatment? And after we've sized that fruit, we take it to a state house testing room. And this is the exact same kind of room that they have in every juice processing plant that is run by the Florida Department of Citrus to ensure the quality of the juice. And so the testing procedures are all the same. And so we, we count how many fruit are going into a basket. We weigh it to know how much weight there is there and then we juice that fruit and this allows us to know what the juice content is per piece of fruit and then we also get the sugar content and the acid content and the total soluble solids which is what the grower actually gets paid for by the processing plant. From that we can figure out what is the total value of crop that the grower is getting per tree or per acre based on zinc aside treatment versus not using a treatment at all. And then we also take samples from that juice and measure the color on that juice. It's very important that we maintain good color in juice because that is something that the consumer wants. And most of that juice just goes down the drain to be crop destructed basically, so that it doesn't go into the food stream. And then also we take extra fruit from these treatment trees back to the packing line and we wash them to get rid of any dirt or grime that builds up on the fruit while it's in the field. It also will remove any surface coating of leftover zinc side particles. And then the peels that come off of that and the peel oil get diverted into another tank so that we can have that peel oil for residue analysis. And we extract that and then send it to Dr. Santra's lab and he tests it to see if there's any nanoparticle residue in that oil compared to oil from an untreated control tree. And this allows us to make sure that the nanoparticles aren't surviving and building up in the peel oil and that they are dissolving as they're designed to do after they've reached their effective lifespan and targeted the bacteria. We've been very lucky over the last 10 years that we've been here to really get a very good team of staff together, to researchers together in my lab and in our collaborating labs, so that we all work together to go through the different steps of these field trials, to get it from the application, through the harvest, do all the DNA testing, to look for the bacteria, and do root sampling to see what the root health of these trees are, and then all the way through the processing plant so that we can make sure that anything that we're studying for HLB will lead to a yield improvement for the growers.